Welcome to Thrifty Thursday. And this is what I got this week at the thrift store. Now, some of you are going to think I lost my mind, but I think a lot of you will understand what I got. Here you go. This is the most amazing thing I got. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but glass gallon jars are hard to find. And I paid $1.99 for them. I did. I paid $1.99 for them. Some of you are saying, Tessie, that is so expensive. It is. But I really need them because my pickling season is coming in. And I do a lot of fermentation of pickles. And I'm always needing glass gallon jars. Well, you know how much they are online. And where else am I going to find them? A lot of people say that restaurants, I have scoured the universe. And there's just nobody nearby that has glass gallon jars. At least they won't give them. They won't even sell them to me. So I assume if they have any, they use them. I don't know, but I paid $1.99 for them. So that's $4 spent. I'm such a big spender, I know. And then I got the Farm Journal cookbook. It was $0.75 cents because it was half off. The reason why I bought this, as you know, I have not been buying as many books. At least I don't think I have been. But this one is in a series, and I have the set. I'm trying to get the whole set. The Farm Journal. And I love this one. So this one's Time Saving Country Cookbook. And I would like to have the whole set of them. I need to research how many in, in this set they made, but I'm getting close to I think I have like six of them now. So I kind of bought this for my collection. Then I bought something that was really unique. In fact, the cashier had no idea what it was. I paid a dollar for it. But look at it. And I'll put it up really close so you can see it. So it's a pie cutter or a noodle cutter, pot pie cutter. But the one side is serrated, so it has a design. And the other side is like a little pizza cutter. Now, don't you think this is something that I would love using? As you know, when I make my breadsticks and when I make all of my things for noodles, I thought it was just so cute. So, let me show it to you closer. I just thought that was adorable. I've never seen one like this. I don't think it's old. I don't know. Maybe it is old. Maybe you all know. So, that was my Thrifty Thursday. I know. <laughs> I know some of you would pay $1.99 for a gallon jar, and I know some of you would think, oh my goodness, Tessie, you talk about saving money and you spend for that, but it's something I can use. The next part of this video, I'm going to share with you a gift. I like to share with you little gifts that I get here and there, but this time, this was for something different. This gift wasn't for me. In fact, the name on the gift was Rose, Fina, and Betty Jo. Wait, Rose, Fina, and Betty Jo? Oh, that's right, they do live here. The gift was totally for them. Very unique gift, and I think you're going to get a chuckle when you see what it is. I think it was the most, maybe the most imaginative gift you'd ever want to see. I don't know, but I think it was pretty great. So take a look at the next part of this video, and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. So take care wherever you are, and I hope you're having a great day. Evening, afternoon, morning, hmm, I hope you're having a great whatever. Ah, it sounds so lame. <laughs> Whoever you are, I hope you're having a great... T Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. This is a very different kind of video. I'm going to share with you what I put my chicken feed in and why I got a gift today that's not for me, nor is it for Chevy Man. So I'll show you what I put my chicken feed in. I just thought to myself the other day, you know what, Tessie? This is probably not a very good way to have chicken feed. This is how I keep my chicken feed. An old cookie sheet on top of a five gallon bucket. I don't have any lids for this bucket because I used all of my buckets for my food storage. And I just thought to myself, Nobody knew this. I never even show this on a video, but I thought to myself, you know, I probably should get myself another kind of container to put this chicken feed in. Well, today I came home 
to find a strange gift sitting at my front door. This is probably the most unusual gift I've ever got. So, we have to go out to the chicken house to find it. Here we are out in the chicken house and I received something in the mail. The most unusual package you'll want to see. But it wasn't addressed to me at all. To Betty Jo, Rose, and Fina. Hmm. Uh, Betty Jo, Rose, and Fina. There's something at the door for you today. What about my other chickens? Oh, are they going to become jealous? Maybe they can have some of it. I don't know what it is, but I know what it came in. And I think these chickens are kind of wondering, huh, is this something for us? Well, it's going to take me just a little bit to open it up. He wanted to share something a little different and a little special to the animals that I love. So, let's go ahead and cut through all of this tape and see what he gave me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they don't know what to do. Such excitement, it's Christmas time. I have a card. <laughs> oh my funniness. What the world. <laughs> no, they can't have that. So we have some chicken eggs that were for me, I'm guessing. Hey! No, you can't have any of that. Oh my word. Take a look what he gave. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is just too funny. Okay, just wait everybody. Oh goodness, wait everybody. All right everybody, just wait. Just wait. Use this sparingly, girls. This came far away, just for you. Oh my goodness, take a look. I'll just give you a little bit. Woo! In. Here, girls. <laughs> oh, they are like having a ball. Fina, Rose. Oh my goodness, this is like a video all in itself. I believe this is just going to be its own video. <laughs> girls, Fina. I'll make sure they get some. Wow, what are the most unique gifts I've ever got? It came in a five gallon bucket, which he knows I will use, and this actually is gonna be my bucket. And I'm gonna be able to keep all of my chicken feed in now because my other one didn't even have a lid. And you know what? Miracles come in small packages because I actually had only about four days worth of food. Nobody knew that, but somehow, Somewhere, somebody had the idea to get me amazing food from far away. Oh, I want to give a little bit of an update. I read the letter that came with it. And Flower Child, a dear subscriber and friend of mine, also contributed towards this gift. So I really want to thank Jump Off A and Flower Girl for their beautiful contribution to the chickens. <laughs> they are so happy. So I really want to thank you, Flower Girl, for your part in this. This is so dear and sweet. And I really want to thank you because it's not just me who are in these videos, but my chickens too. And you know, I see my animals almost like children. And it was such a blessing. Thank you guys so much for everything. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. It's time once again for Fanny's Diary. We are on May the 30th, 1943. Today, Fanny writes, I had my first mess of sugar peas. It was warm and sultry kind of day. That's a really unusual talk for Fanny. So mess means my first helping of sugar peas. It's a word we don't really use anymore, is it now? Did your grandma or did your parents use the word mess? Like in the military, they call it the mess hall. Do people use the word mess when it comes to eating? Let me know in the comments below.